Kerry Chuda, hoy me romengue. The gypsies, I don't, I can't think of what to say. Certainly not, it's politically correct. <laughs> Just travellers and... Veseli, lenivi, spinavi, no. The answer is very unsettled. They've been labelled thieves. They've been labelled liars, cheaters. There are a bit different. They 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 are a bit different. Estimated at 15 million, the Roma people, historically mislabeled gypsies, comprise Europe's largest minority group. Their history is one of endless persecution. Often, they were expelled from entire countries. They were used as slaves until the mid-18th century. During World War II, more than half a million died in concentration camps, and violence against them has been increasing since the 1990s. Because the Roma are an oral community, the spoken word is very important to them. In 1996, TWR's national partner in Bulgaria, Studio 865, with visionary funding from Words of Hope, was the first to use radio to speak to the Roma people about God in their own native language. First of all, radio is still the best tool to reach an oral community. The Roma people are living in their own districts and the environment there is very bad. Poverty and high unemployment leads to crime and violence and few of the children can get to education. So for a radio program we use a specific format of storytelling that attracts everyone speaking the language. <laughs> I will always remember my meeting with Sunday school teacher in one of the Roma churches. She asked me, do you know that for most of our girls, Sunday school is the only chance for us to tell them about Jesus? In Roma community, girls often marry when they are 13 or 14 years old, and the position of mother and wife is not very easy. They have to submit to their husbands and to all older family members. Unless the rest of their new family is Christian, they are not allowed to go to church. So the knowledge about our living God they receive from the radio as children may be the only chance they have to hear about Jesus. Last summer, I distributed a number of solar-powered radios in a village. One person started a ministry among the Roma who received those radios there. Now, after a few months, there is a small church. From another Roma church, the people told me that they need to listen more to learn about God and that our program is too short. Here, Roma churches are more than houses of worship. Roma pastors are more than preachers. Their churches are their community centers, and their pastors are their community leaders. And it all started with a radio program to reach them with the gospel. 
să ducem credința Domnului, să ascultăm pe Domnul, că noi suntem supuși Domnului, suntem ucenicii Domnului și trebuie să-i urmăm calea. Pentru asta trăim, că dacă nu avem credință în Domnul și noi urmăm pașii și cuvintele Domnului, degeaba trăim. Am I could not believe when I heard that they speak Roma on the radio. I have never heard someone being so kind and friendly to me. I have never heard someone speaking about God. I will listen to you all the time. Pray for those who already believe that they go and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to all the Roma people because the Roma desperately need this. Hold us in your prayers, especially those who already believe that they would persevere and finish the race, their goal, that they hold on to the vision, the world, that the world would not overcome them, but that they would overcome the world by the word of Jesus. Jesus.